I've always felt a calling to, to do some form of international mission work. Uh, so the first trip that I ever went on was actually to Afghanistan. I felt going into that that I, I was really weak at sharing my faith with other people. And so what I was really looking for was that sort of opportunity, kind of to immerse myself, you know, sink or swim, basically. And, and Afghanistan was great, and we learned a lot from that process, but it was, I mean, it's a closed culture, definitely at that time, and we couldn't, we didn't have that opportunity. And I really felt like if I don't stay with this, it, it may become that thing where, oh, I checked the Christian box of doing an international mission trip, and, and I may come up with excuses and, and just find myself never going again. Shortly after we arrived in 2016, we found that through serving, we get to know others much better. And so being new here, we felt that was our opportunity to get to know more people at Fellowship Greenville. So one of those first opportunities was being a part of the FIT team and we've continued to serve on the safety team. We'd expressed interest in helping in other areas. We've helped on other hurricane recoveries and so another member here, um, Jay Wilson, actually reached out to us and said, hey, I'm looking to assemble a team and would you guys be interested in going? And we said yes. You know, after having been on those recovery trips, the, the consistent theme is uh, these people are in so much despair and they're like, wait a minute, you guys would, you know, take time off work, take vacation time to come and help us, seriously? And then that really just opens the door, you know, if they're, they're not believers, to start to share the gospel and to simply say, hey, you know, that's, you know, what Jesus would do. He equipped us to do certain things, you know, whether it be mentally, physically, and we can, we can help you here. So there was a refresh in, I think, 2006, and I went to that, and, and Tom sends up talking about uh, E3 partners and talking about this trip and, and I just heard it and I'm like that's that's what I want to do like I want to go and I want to share Jesus with people in another country in another culture and so they approached me while I was down there and asked would you consider doing a medical trip and I said I mean sure if that's what God wants then that's what we'll do you know I, I'm a doctor year-round so if that's where I'm needed then that's where I'll step in so we've done that ever since 2007 and it's been a great experience as well because we partner with the evangelical teams uh, going into the communities and, and I always say it's like they're sharing the gospel with people but we're showing the love and compassion of Christ and it's that combination you know you actually see people's hearts open to it I'll talk to the leaders of the evangelical teams and say hey you know we're working with you what are you seeing and they're like oh I mean yesterday you guys weren't here we were having a hard time getting people to listen to us. Today you're here and, you know, they're happy to listen. And, and so it's just, I think it's, it's just a bigger part of the puzzle that um, God's blessed us to be able to do. As much as I invested in my job at UPS for 37 years, that took me away from Mary a lot. So once I was able to retire, I felt it was a great opportunity for us to spend more time together and what a better way to spend time together than to go and serve others. It's something we can do together and, and um, common goals together. So your gifts can be your gifts, but um, don't keep them to yourselves. You know, you might think, well, I don't, I don't know. I don't have those gifts and abilities. I don't know what it is that I could do. I would just encourage you to like go to the next steps desk, have conversations with, you know, other people that are here because there's just tremendous needs and through your own life experiences, through your own knowledge, um, sometimes, you know, God may be calling you to, do, to step outside of that, where maybe you don't necessarily have that natural gift, but if that's what God's calling you to do, He'll equip you to get the job done. I think what I would say is, for all of us, like, God, what do you want us to do? And then, you know, you, you'll sense it because it'll feel uncomfortable and then have the courage to trust him and, and step into that because he'll, he'll, he'll do great things with you and great things through you uh, and to you, so.